Okay, so you've had your IQ TS244 of for about a year now. And you're wondering, okay, what's the maintenance schedule on this machine? We actually have a routine maintenance program for the machine and we sell an annual tune-up kit that goes into some of those things. So in this kit, you can purchase online or from your uh, IQ dealer. You're gonna get a uh, filter, you're gonna get a set of brushes for the motor, and you're also gonna get a new set of these louvers. What happens after time, you can see like this machine, the louvers have worn because the blade deflection and things over time, it gets a little wide. And that is part of your dust collection system. So you wanna keep that as tight to the blade as you can. So every year we recommend you go ahead and change those out. We're gonna take a few minutes and do these very steps. So you got your annual tune-up kit here for your 244 saw. It's gonna come with a new Durabond filter. And you see it's gonna come with a series of different filter agitator tabs. The one that fits for your machine will be in here and possibly an extra. Um, you're gonna have your new louvers. It's a three-piece kit and we'll go into which one goes where and then a new set of brushes. So let's go ahead and install these items. Okay, we talked about changing these louvers in the center of the table. Pretty simple, the way I like to do it, you're on the job site, just get that motor head up out of the way, flip your switch there to release your table, take that table and just flop it upside down. On the underside, you're gonna see locations here, 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 and these are all where they hook. It's nice to take a slot, little slotted screwdriver or a pick like this and just release that from that little tab. Pry that underneath there. Do the same thing all the way down. And the, the, the new louvers are actually a three piece setup. So once you get those loosened up, flip it back over, you can actually see how they lift right out. Now notice, let's grab that one that fell on the floor. Notice the first two are exactly the same. That's your front and your center. Your back louver fits into the very end of the table. So it's slightly different. That's your only one that's different. You see, see the difference there? A little longer and it finishes off right here. So we'll go ahead and put those new louvers in. Okay, so here's our front two. We got one. We got two. There you go. Okay, an another part of that annual tune-up kit was the filter we talked about. So we're gonna show how that, I believe this is a three millimeter Allen. You just merely wanna take these five screws out here, I believe it is, on the filter housing cover. Pretty simple. Take those out. Couple up top here, a little tough to get to, but Take that off, we're gonna to have to remove it on this model. What we'll do is we'll take the filter cover, we'll drop down out of the way and allow enough room for the filter itself to slide out. So there's your filter. At this time, one thing we wanna make sure, we wanna inspect that filter tab inside there. We have two new ones. It looks fine. Look for any breaks or cracks, or if it's short, you wanna go ahead and replace it now while you have the filter out. The other thing that I've seen that doesn't happen, you see the plastic on the end of the filter where it says remove plastic before installation? If you don't remove that plastic, you see this is greased to slide over the vacuum housing input right there. That slides over that, 
so that the dust can be pulled through this filter. If you don't take that off and you put this in, you're not going to have any filtration at all. You're going to have no draw through your vacuum port. So make sure you take that off, slide your new filter in, put your cover back on. You're good for six months minimum to over a year. We only recommend checking that when your dust, your filtration is lacking. Um, you can always check this. If you're in a very humid environment, a lot of times the filter will clog a little faster, but typically it's good for at least a year. Okay, so to change the brushes on the saw motor, I like to use a slotted screwdriver. You can use a dime or anything, but these work really good to get the brush out of the back. So to do that, there's a little slot right in the dust, in the brush cover itself. You're gonna undo that little disc. And this is how you know if your brushes are, are still okay. You're gonna have spring tension pushing out. So you see those brushes are about half gone. But we're gonna go ahead and replace them. The new brush will just slide right in the horizontal slot there. You see the brush holder? And then this will go right in over it like that it's gonna be a little spring tension there that's what you want that's what holds that brush against the commentator hold that in with one finger and then just slide the disc back over I usually try to just reverse it a couple times and get the threads lined up just put it right back in and you want to do the same thing on the back sometimes it's easier if you raise this that's where the short screwdriver comes into play when you do the rear brush, but same way to change that one. 